So aerosol particles affect uh, climate in a couple of different ways, uh, namely because they change the radiative balance of the planet. And what that actually means is that they, they change the way uh, light hits the surface of the Earth and they change how much light hits the, uh, the surface of the Earth and contributes to greenhouse uh, warming. So what you're going to see here are um, the, the different ways in which the amount of light from the sun uh, is affected by the amount of aerosol particles in the atmosphere. So as you can imagine, uh, sunlight comes towards a cloud, and a cloud is relatively white, so the light just bounces off it. Um, particles affect it in the same way. If you have um, a certain amount of light and it hits a set of particles that are in the atmosphere, some of that light can just bounce off of those particles, so you will have less light getting down into the atmosphere. And that means less light to uh, contribute to the greenhouse effect. So this is the direct way in which particles affect the radiative balance, uh, just by interfering with the amount of light getting down into the, into the lower levels of the atmosphere. All right, the other way that, uh, that, cloud, that particles can affect light is by actually affecting the structure of clouds. So you can imagine a regular cloud. It's got a series of small water droplets, and those water droplets are what make the cloud look white. They're what gives it the albedo, so the reflectivity uh, of the cloud. And, uh, and that, of course, causes light to just bounce off. Uh, the problem is that if you put particles in that cloud, the water droplets that you make are smaller and you'll have a lot more of them. And this means that a uh, pollution sort of affected or particle affected cloud is much more reflective than a natural cloud. So it means that the cloud will have more light bounce off the top of it. So we call this the cloud albedo effect or the indirect effect.